and the casual. Languid the sea stretches, tosses itself on the many fine beaches. past villages and towns. In fact, water here is everywhere a striking feature of the landscape. to the region is Mamagoa, one of the major ports of western India. Panjim on the Mandovi River is the capital. A sunny place, it's cosmopolitan enough to make a visitor feel at home and old world enough to charm him. It's not very ancient as cities go, but there are many things to see as you drive through. A look at the handicrafts. There is a wide variety, each with a distinctive touch. Mark of Panjim is the statue of Alfonso de Albuquerque. Donna Paula, an observation point on the sea. Rendezvous for the young, it has a century old tale to tell. Disappointed in love, the legend goes. Paula, a maiden of noble birth, flung herself here down to her death. The statue of Abbe Faria, a renowned hypnotist. For a closer look at this and other sites in Panjim, there are vehicles of other days. travel a distance of 10 kilometers from Panjim, we come to Old Goa, one time capital of the region. 
For long, the town was one of the most important seats of Christianity in the East. It has several magnificent churches. Because of these, Old Goa came to be known as the Rome of the East. The most important is the Say Cathedral, dedicated to St. Catherine. Eighty years in building, the cathedral has an interior with 15 altars. Baroque in conception, their decorative detail contributed by local artisans, a fusion of the East and the West. Nearby is the Basilica of Bom Jesus, the holiest place in Old Goa. The church contains the body of St. Francis Xavier, patron saint of Goa, apostle of the East. The gold and silver casket enshrining the saint's body is the work of a Florentine jeweler. There are panels here by Italian artists depicting some memorable events in the saint's life. Other panels, executed by Indian artists, portray some major Christian themes. On occasions of great solemnity, the body of St. Francis Xavier is exposed to the public, an event of great piety for Catholics the world over. Old Goa is now a deserted place, for pestilence led to its abandonment centuries ago. A monument now, it nevertheless brings back memories of a forgotten age, of Portuguese landings in the early 16th century, and of battles that raged for a foothold in the east. Not far from here is the Aguada Fort. Once, ships used to call here for fresh water and other supplies. Now, only the sound of breaking waves is heard. Goa, like the rest of India, is a place of many faiths. There are many temples here. The venerable temple of Shanta Durga, the goddess of peace. The shrine draws thousands of devotees from all parts of the country. Mangesh temple, dedicated to Lord Shiva, is the best known. Temple architecture here, as elsewhere in Goa, bears the influence of the synthesis of Indian and Western architecture. Deep stumba, a pillar with special niches for the lighting of earthen lamps, votive offerings to the great god.
The temples, the mosques and the churches form the most prominent feature of Goa's landscape. Goa has the largest concentration of Catholics in India and there is not a village or town without a church or two. Each church has a solemn annual day, feasts in which everyone participates. In addition to the many splendid cathedrals, Goa has churches in the contemporary style, like this one at Pilar, a short distance from Panjim. are a devout people. They are also full of exuberance, an exuberance born perhaps of the sunny climate. All the year round there are festivals and fairs, occasions for a display of color. Christian and Hindu, a variety of festivals, a variety of expression in a land of piety and joy. marketplaces are crowded and lively. A great deal of bargaining goes on, of course, but it's good fun. coach or a limousine takes a visitor to almost any place in the interior and all of Goa is worth visiting. Legend has it that a great god shot an arrow into the sea and the sea receded to form Goa. There is much more to it than a charming tale for Goa has all the qualities of a chosen place. A bracing climate, great natural beauty, cheerful people and water. Soothing, inviting friends from far and near. Yeah. 